What's going on, everyone? It's Blingin' Brayden. Just kidding. Don't ever call me that. It's Brayden with your code you find jewelry, your personal jeweler. I'm getting a lot of questions on rope chains versus Franco chains. It seems to be the most popular chain with you guys. So I want to talk the difference a little bit. Drop a comment below what you like personally, either the Franco or the rope chain. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website, www.jacoji.com. And if you love gold chains, then smash that like button. Smash, smash, smash. It helps the channel out. Smash. If you watched my previous gold chain video about the Franco, you know the Franco is my baby. I love the Franco chain. It's the best. But we don't all have millions of dollars and just spend whatever we want on gold chains. So there's a lot of different factors that go into picking out the right chain. And you could always email me or DM me and at pick my brain a little bit and what you're going for, what your budget is, and we'll talk and find the right chain for you. But for the sake of comparing the two, I really want to break down the gram weight because that's the most important as far as money and the cost of everything. Um, between the two chains at different sizes and let's just go over the pros and cons of the rope versus the Franco chain. So I got both four millimeter solid chains on. This is obviously the rope. This is the Franco, both 26 inches. And you guys just look, you tell me what stands out the most right here. Um, as I'm moving, you can see those diamond cuts, the lights really hitting them. Um, but in my opinion, the Franco chain is just standing out a little bit more. And obviously, you know, if you wore them together, people ask me, can I wear two different style chains together? Of course, if I'm just wearing that, who's going to complain about that look right there? Boom, screenshot it. But these two chains, you know, for what it is, the Franco chain is obviously going to stand out more just because, um, in my opinion, it's a higher quality chain. And wearing it, the surfaces on the Franco are smoother. So the wear on it is a little bit better. The diamond cuts on the rope chain um, are not uncomfortable by any means, but it's definitely the Franco chain. It's just a nicer chain overall, but just check it out. So let's weigh the Franco chain out. Keep in mind, four millimeter, 26 inches, both solid, and we got just 69.5 grams. Same dimensions on this rope chain. It's a solid 26 inch, four millimeter width, and let's see how much it weighs. So it weighs half the weight of the Franco chain. So the rope chains are a lot lighter. This is a solid chain. Um, so you could pretty much get two of these for one of those. So let's weigh the three and a half millimeter width. Both the same widths. Now we're at just under 50 grams, 14 karat gold. And the same exact size rope chain is at look just look just over 22 grams exactly last uh size i want to show you guys is the two and a half millimeter put it on the scale we got 21.4 grams and then let's weigh the same rope chain same size i should say and then we're just over 10 grams so here's my aerial drone shot uh, of all these chains we just weighed out as you can see the Franco's just overpower this conversation But likely so I mean they weigh they're weighing almost double than the rope chains are so just take a good look Side by side. These are all like I said the same width same lengths as their partners So there you have it So now that we've established that the Franco chain weighs a lot more and is more overpowering as far as looks go when you look at it um, you have to sit down and decide what's best for you now me personally i just added um a yellow gold uh flat link curb to my collection everyone knows i have the white gold but i went out for my birthday and bought me a personal chain this has nothing to do with what i have if i have stuff in inventory it's not mine it's the businesses i never mix the two just because if i put something on that I, i'm trying to sell it doesn't mean the same to me as something that i just buy and i'm never going to sell that way i never take it off so i know it's mine forever so you know, if you ask me personally, I'd rather go and save up if I have to and spend it on a Franco chain because of the gram weight. But a lot of people just want some gold, a simple chain, and the rope chain works best for them because they get a nice size chain, 
for not spending as much on the grams and on the price. So you might still be thinking, what should I buy? And really, you can't go wrong with either, guys. The rope chain, when I made the rope chain video, one of my favorite videos of all time, I basically said, you know, a rope chain is timeless. Your grandpa might be wearing one, and, you know, your, your future son or your son could be wearing one too. So it'll stay forever, and that's the same with the Franco chain. It's personal preference. If you like the look of the rope chain, which I do, then go out and buy one. But if you're in love with that Franco chain, it just depends on the personality. I would rather buy something smaller and heavier and just wear it, nothing that's over, you know, flashy, just like these. And then, you know, most of the time they're in my shirt, you can't really see them and just have them, then rather buy like a really thick rope chain. And when we're comparing the overall um, quality to a Franco and rope, just look at the class. I don't know if you guys can see that between the two. You see the rope chain or the Franco chain has this monster lobster class. And that's why I like to put them on expensive pieces because these things will not break. They're, in my opinion, one of the most durable behind the Cuban link. And then the rope chain is something a little more simple, still a very durable chain. And then you just have a smaller lobster class. Your chain is only as strong as your weakest link. Both of these are very sturdy chains, so you don't have to worry. But, but, but as far as like everything goes, just look at that monster class. And on the smaller size Francos, the class gets you know smaller. But these bigger sizes, you will not have to worry because these are some strong links. Long story short, if you have a, a larger budget and want a thicker chain, a solid chain like the Franco that's heavy, then go with the Franco chain. If you're sticking with the budget and just want something nice, something you know that's solid, a high quality piece, go with the rope because you can get a bigger size for the gram weight. Um, that's just how they are. Like I measured, all those chains are solid chains. I don't have the hollow ropes in stock. Um, so they're both solid. You can just see the weight difference between the two. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or DM me on Instagram. And all those chains I have in stock at any length, just let me know what width, what length you want. I'll get you a quote, gram weight, all that good stuff. And I'll ship it to you personally via FedEx. Signature required. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something and we will see you on our next jewelry video.